Hi friends, here is Ajitya from Ajitya RP account of Bangalore. In this, now we are continuing blue pressure mapex. So in this video, we are going to see in detail about so how to configure the Outlook Express. So for that one, click on Start, Search, Type Outlook, and open Outlook Express, and go to Tools and Account Settings. And here you can find we can add like multiple email addresses. So in this area, I like, mean like multiple accounts. Then click on new and then select the check button like manually configure server settings or additional server types. Click on next and choose the first radio button that is internet email means connect to your pop means like post office protocol and the IMAP means internet message access protocol or HTTP server to send and receive an email messages and then click on next and well, you know, it requires, you know, we need to enter the information regarding our email details. And for this one, we'll go to our uh, mail server. From there, we'll get some information about, like, uh, incoming mail server details and outgoing mail server details. And then, we'll continue. Okay. Now, I'm going to Gmail. And here you can see like you no know, one settings go to settings and then select you know highlight like a forwarding and pop slash imap then select the second radio button that is enable pop for mail that arrives from now on and it's already like imap is enabled by default it's disabled make it like an enable then save changes again come back to settings and click on forwarding and pop or slash imap and click on conf see, you look at here so configure your email clients example outlook thunderbird or iphone so click on configure instructions then check it like settings so here are the information about the incoming email at incoming path is like imap.gmail.com outgoing path is like smtp.gmail.com like a detailed steps and how to configure like outlook express the first one is start and search so outlook express Then account settings, settings, so account information, then click on add, add new, then next. Then so go to Gmail. Account settings. Then click on forwarding and pop post office protocol slash imap so pop is transferred
and there is one more protocol called like a pop 3 is an extended version for pop protocol So enable pop for mail that arrives now on. So under IMAP access select enable IMAP access so click on save settings and once again go to settings so for the information Then click on configure configuration instructions. And here you can see the information. Then go back to Outlook Express. Okay, type your name. So email address. Select IMAP. And the type incoming mail server information is imap.gmail.com next smtp.gmail.com and here we need not type any password then go to like a more settings then go to advanced and for imap you can see the by default port number is like 143 and then change from change it to 993 you can check it here the port number like 993 and select ESSL like you know, we encrypted connection like SSL and next SMTP is 587 So here you can see the port for TLS or start TLS 587. Then click on OK. And for the password, just go to Gmail and click on the icon here like my account. And next signing into Google. and click on here passwords then click on ok continue in gmail so let me delete my and it's already generated and for this one now i'm creating a new one for the mail uh, for outlook express select an app 
okay select mail then select device that is windows computer then click on generate now the password is generated by the system so copy the password and go to outlook express so here you can paste the password if you click on next then it's ready and we can check it test account settings so it's completed so click on next and then click on finish and please stay with us we'll continue with the blueprint map